Ladies and gentlemen, there is solid experimental data confirming Alfred Plantinga's evolutionary argument against naturalism based on mathematics. If you've clicked on this video, you probably already know what the evolutionary argument against naturalism is. But for those of you who don't, what is it? Well, listen here. Therefore, being, uh, being such as to promote survival and reproduction. Now, and the, the neurology that causes their beliefs, I mean, that causes their behavior, also causes their beliefs. Um, and now the question is, okay, suppose their behavior and their neurology is in fact adaptive, what about their beliefs? What about the truth of these beliefs? Well, I think you can see that it doesn't matter about the truth of these beliefs. It's the, if the neurology causes the right behavior, the adaptive behavior, what they believe makes no difference. The belief, you might say, uh, floats along as an extra. There it is, they have, hold these beliefs, that's caused by the neurology. The neurology is adaptive. But the beliefs don't have to be true for the neurology to be adaptive. If the neurology causes false beliefs but causes the right behavior, makes no difference whatever. All right, so it's an argument showing that if naturalism and evolution is false, then the argument implies that it doesn't matter what you think in your mind because your cognitive faculties are unreliable. Well, now, how do the naturalists respond? Well, they respond like this. Listen here. As far as perception and evolution goes mm -hmm. uh, and consciousness, the standard view in the field is that um, natural selection has shaped us to have conscious experiences that truly reflect the state of the world, that our perceptions are, as they say, veridical, true to the state of the world. And the argument is quite simple. Uh, those of our ancestors that uh, didn't see truly were at a disadvantage in the competition with those of our ancestors who did see truly. And as a result, they uh, were less likely to have kids, less likely to survive long enough to have kids. So we're the offspring of those who saw truly, and therefore, on evolutionary grounds, we can expect that our, our senses are, in general, reliable, not perfect. Okay, so the, con the response is, if your cognitive faculties are unreliable, then you die. Now, the non-materialist may respond by giving illustrations of scenarios where false beliefs can cause the correct actions for survival. Or they can get into determinism and ask whether or not their beliefs can even cause their actions, rather than vice versa. Finally, the non-materialist can show that there is experimental data to back up the argument. And what is that, what is that data? Well, listen here. With evolutionary game theory, I should mention we've also done it with genetic algorithms. So we try to actually um, get populations of organisms with genes that we randomly mutate and have them you know, breed and reproduce. And, and we can't even get truth to, to breed. So, so truth never even rises to the point where it can actually compete. So a critic... Now what is he talking about? There's more. Listen here. So what we did was we in the computer can simulate hundreds of thousands of different worlds with different numbers of territories and resources, different fitness functions. So we do what are called Monte Carlo simulations. We run millions of trials. We can create organisms that can see all the truth in those worlds, part of the truth, none of the truth, that are tuned to fitness or not. And so we run you know, many hundreds of hours of simulations, millions of trials. What is he saying? Well, this here is what he's saying. Um, and what, what we find is that um, natural selection drives true perceptions to swift extinction. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. And here is the article on the experimental data that I promised. I'll put a link in the description below. Thank you so much. Again, confirming the conclusion from the argument by solid data based on mathematics that if naturalism and evolution are true, then there's no good reason to believe that naturalism and evolution is true. Thank you so much. Please share this with somebody, and have a great day.